and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube. For a new donation deck, we have some Jeskai midrange here. Um, a Jeskai deck built around uh, value creatures and flickering them um, and you know using our creatures as spells and just playing a whole lot of sweet cards together. So this kind of looks like a, a Fires of Invention deck, um, a Jeskai Fires deck, but we just we're not playing the fires. Instead, we're just playing lots of good cards, basically, and just not having any fires in here. So yeah, we have. Um, it looks like we're we're like low over here. Like we have um, our ops to start with, and we have our charming prince that can scry to and set up our draws. But it, it looks like. Um, okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna have to sneeze. Um, we don't have very many ones and twos, but when you add in, we have a couple brazen borrowers that have the petty theft that cost two mana, and the bone crusher giants that have the stomp that cost two mana, and suddenly we look like we have a good amount more uh, two drops. Um, Teferi Time Raveler, of course, very powerful, but Teferi Time Raveler in this deck can also rebounce some of our creatures. If we want to rebounce Charming Prince or Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant back to our hand, uh, we can do that. And speaking of rebouncing our creatures to our hand, we got three Time Wipes for a sweeper that returns one of our value creatures back to our hand as well. Uh, but then the five drop slot is, is really where we're, we're going here. A couple Cavalier of Dawns to destroy Planeswalkers and any problematic permanents, and a couple Cavalier of Gales as well. Um, yeah, so both these Cavaliers, th these are definitely good creatures to flicker with Charming Prince or Teferi Time Twist, um, or you know pick back up with, with Teferi or Time Wipe. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to outgrind the opponent here uh, with this mid-range deck. Both both modes of royal the royal scions can we can use, um, you know, because since we're playing a lot of creatures, we can use that second plus one ability to get some damage in also. Um, and yeah, with our Clarion not only is it a good sweeper, but then also we can give our creatures life link, especially like some of these bigger creatures, we can give them life link. And then of course we're playing Kenrith. This is actually the first time that I've had Kenrith in a deck, which is. Um, which is too bad. Like, this has been too long. So, like, I actually have not... This is going to be the first time for me to play Kenrith. This is just such a cool card. Um, it's really powerful. You know, it can do so many different things. Obviously, in this deck, we got that five life gain. They can matter. We got the draw card. Give our creatures trample and haste to pressure Planeswalkers as well. Um, top end, we got an Agent of Treachery. We got 26 lands in this deck. And because we have triple white with Cavalier, triple blue with... Uh, well, triple white and triple blue with our two Cavaliers. There's actually one Lotus Field in here uh, that can, you know, add three mana of any one color that can help fix uh, that mana, especially because your dual lands, you're looking at like red, white, and uh, red, blue for like the, the colors that have the temples. Um, but blue, white doesn't have a temple, even though we really want like blue and white. So that Lotus Field, we'll kind of see how that, that card uh, matches up. Plus, Lotus Field can add mana of any color. So we could technically add black or green, especially like black. Uh, if we have that Lotus Field in play, we could activate the black part of Kenrith here and put some of these creatures um, into play under our control. So that could be pretty cool, too. Um, one Agent of Treachery at the top end um, as well. And then our sideboard has like efficient answers depending on what we're playing against. You know, if we're playing against a red or a black aggro deck, we got some devout decrees. You know, obviously against green decks, we got ether gusts, um, and you know, red too. Do Dovin's vetoes and mystical disputes for some counter magic, and then extra removal, uh, filling out our sweepers with cl clarions and realm cloak giants, um, and then also another a, a second agent of treachery for those matches that are going to go long. All right, so that's what our deck's all about. Let's see how it does. So just like with all donation decks, we're going to go ahead and play it through a league. See if we can get that five-win dream. Um, where's the deck? It went away. Just got mid-range. Huh, I don't know why it went all the way down there, but oh well. Just be an Oko deck with five color Niv control. Good job, Leps. Awesome. <laughs> Back in my day, I would have called this deck America.
<laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Yeah, I have not gotten a haircut in a very long time. All right, hopefully this opt finds us white mana. Turn on the rest of our, of our hand. Perfect. So dismal backwater probably means blue-white control. So then we can kind of scry accordingly. I'll just take the land. Prison Realm's good against a blue-white control deck. Oh, it's a mill deck. Well then. I appreciate clean victory. For the realm. I guess we're gonna have to start doing some some major damage. It's a mill deck, so this rural scions is a pretty good clock for us. Bravery galvanizes any plan. If I could double spell with these Charming Princes, I would cast I would cast the double Charming Prince because, yeah, I figured it was pretty likely they had a counter spell here. But I only have the one white mana, so even though I have four mana, it's just one white, so I can't play the th Princes. Sorry I'm late. This might be a bad idea. That's a good one. Embrace your fear and charge. Oh yeah. Yeah, Scions is so good. Yeah, I agree that Un yeah, Scions is definitely underappreciated because of how good Oko is, but yeah. Rural Scions is pretty awesome. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and do 7 to them. Bow to the mind's reign. And, the heart's fervor. and now... Let's do Kenrith. Kenrith's just cooler. A lot of ways we can have lethal here. We're gonna we're gonna choose to use Kenrith. Because I haven't actually played Kenrith before. Alright, so mill deck. Probably want some disputes and vetoes. And less time wipe and clary off. Kind of feel like that's about it. I don't think, like, yeah, these other cards don't really do that much. I could play another Agent of Treachery, but it's just so expensive. So we'll just keep the one. All right. Here we go. Yeah, Kenneth just kind of does everything. I need to play more Kenneth than even just like my Orza value decks, like with just like the reanimate part as well. I feel like that card's gonna get milled over. No, it does not. We only have one Royal Scion left now.
show remorse, I'll show restraint. Don't worry, I got this. Hey, good job, Daddy Dragon. Got into Mythic last night. Way to go. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Steady your mind, Rowan. I will learn what nobody yet knows. <laughs> yeah, that's a lotus field. Yeah, we have a lot like one lotus field in here. But unfortunately, I think it's a, it's a little awkward for what I got going on. Scry both to the bottom. Oh, shocked and shattered. Yeah, Lotus, Lotus Field fixes the mana. So that's why the three colors you can help fix the mana. All right, end of the story is good. They're getting good use out of these scries. They've scried four cards to the bottom now. Just if platinum for the first time in a few seasons. Way to go, Parappa. Don't make another move. So threatening. protect you so they still got five cards over there could time twist that of course um, I like but then like my Cavalier Gills doesn't come back till my end step so I like um, just using the Dovin's Veto here, so I still have the blocker to keep the Teferi alive. Yeah, I guess I could have Cavalier first, then then shuffle cards away, but... Um, we put some good cards down to the bottom with that Drawn from Dreams earlier, and I wanted to kind of draw towards those. Um, and plus, we're playing against a mill deck, so they're going to they're gonna mill stuff over anyway. Um, and then third, there wasn't really cards that I didn't, I didn't have like cards I didn't want for sure. Like if there was cards I definitely didn't want, that would have been a different story, but there wasn't really anything that I didn't want. I've got it. I mean, the last, the last three sets have all had incredibly high power level from War of the Spark. Um, 
M M twenty and and Throne of Eldraine. It's it's not like I don't think Throne of Eldraine is really that much more powerful than the other two sets. I think all three of them are are really really powerful. Like just like look at all these cards in War of the Spark, you know, Teferi and Nissa and all sorts of stuff. Here we go. And same with M20. I'm trying to Dovin's veto this. There we go. Yeah, the the very top end of Throne of, Throne of Eldraine, or like, were, um, was something else, but it wasn't as deep as the other two sets. I don't think. I think w both War of the Spark and the uh, Core Set Twenty Twenty were really deep sets. Yeah. Ixalan through M19 are are not really comparable to like the yeah Ixalan Dominaria um, rivals of Ixalan like compare rivals of Ixalan to any of like the current sets it's it's laughable it's not even close You got to gift itself while you're walking the dog. There you go. That's multitasking. Uh, for for rares that I, I already own, instead of getting a fifth copy of the rare, I just get... Yeah, we already got another Clarion. I get gems instead because once you already have four copies of a rare, if you're gonna if you open up a fifth copy, you get gems instead of the fifth copy. The Guilds of Ravnica was really strong at the time. Like whenever it came out, it was really strong. Comparatively, but now com compare Guilds of Ravnica to to the the current the uh, sets they've been printing recently. The recent sets, not as strong. Yeah, I thought Guilds of Ravnica was really well done, and I I think it was really well done also with all of the different guilds. Like I think they they did a good job of giving all the guilds playable cards, especially like, you know good multicolor cards basically everywhere. Oh, whoops. Not level up. Um, Those blind to level one. They just can't see there you go. I invite you Come on, to land. Change your ways. Ugh, not a... I should have been should have been more exact there with the land that I needed. So it's basically do I want to draw then scry or scry then draw? That's that's the main thing. I think I want to draw first and then scry. Trust me. My hand's already pretty decent. Let's, Let's get a little bit more information about what else we got going on. Hmm. 
So it's a game you're interested in. Uh, I I should not have a stream delay on at all, CVSAC. Surely you must be famished. Surely. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I am always bravery galvanizes any plan. Yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, Guilds of Ravnica saying what was your favorite set from the past year? That it's a good choice. Why do you cross me? So they can kill Teferi if they want. Maybe kind of difficult to protect Teferi if they... Or sorry, protect Oko if they kill Teferi. I kind of hope they just play a lot of defense here. Darn. That didn't go according to plan. Embrace your fear and charge. I see you don't share my vision. Could have time wiped and picked up the Bone Crusher Giant. Then they play Nyssa. That's a little annoying. Strange and magnificent world. Land shall conquer you. Oh, get away from me. I guess that's a lot easier way to kill this, Nissa. I think I was going to need to tick up here. There is no virtue without bravery.
cannot protect you anymore. Of course, I I do have to have both of them attack. And they can kill Bone Crusher Giant and then attack Royal Scions. A good card for them. Oh, back to training. I... So just have one more Royal Scions, right? There's two in here. Yeah. So maybe I should just be playing my land, but if we would draw another Royal Scions, I'd be able to... Um, I'd be able to loot that away now. Oh. Well, I guess I need another White Source out. Take an extra three damage to have this breeding pool get out of here too with that Clarion. My strength fades. Ooh, that is nice. That's a good one right there. My opponent run out of stuff yet? Run out of stuff? Pretty please. Nope. So the problem with going with time wipe. Is if they have if they have a haste creature, they have a Nessa, I die. Or no, I don't die because I I don't know why I was thinking I was taking five because you know the Krasis would be gone. So no, I could have time wiped. Oh well, maybe they put more creatures out and then I pick my Kenrith back up. Of course, I get to gain five life. Gosh, that's so much life. So yeah, we get to just cancel out this attack and see if they play more creatures.
go, I leave bodies in my wake. I'm going to... Pity we couldn't have been allies. It's unfortunate. Surges through these lands. Be wary of the yeah, so I'll, I'll get back the Cavalier and... I don't know, maybe, maybe kill the Nyssa? Should just be safe there. Hmm. Could have used the land. So we'll get the prison realm back and I'll just prison realm this Frasca so they don't get to draw more cards. If I would have drawn a land, I could have gone Kenrith Haste. Um, I'll just prison realm. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Just as, like, you know, whenever you think that they're out of stuff, here comes another crisis. Whenever you think they're out of stuff. Turns out they're not. Time twist is pretty awesome. Arena, why you gotta be so bad? It's gonna just tap the... It's gonna tap the Lotus Field first. I don't want that to happen. Certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Fairy's time twist. I will aid you. Dang. The good crisis. Behold, nature's true power. I mean, Nissa's is this now? Is that third Nissa? Fair. 
They just never run out of stuff. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. It just never run out. Your new look is enchanting. This never ends. Arena, please just work. I don't have an enchantment left, do I? Oh dear. Crazy. Man, they drew so well. Yeah, Mono Blacklist is... is is fun to play for sure. Um, I talk about the end. Like I think I want to add into Liliana's uh, and talk about that at the end. But um, but yeah, I like I like playing the mono black list. I think that's that's a fun deck to play. Yeah, you know they just have one one card left, and it turns out to be Krasis, and then we fight through that. Then they just have one card left, and you know it's Krasis again, and then when they untap it. They just have Nissa Oko or Oko Nissa Oko. Wicked Wolf, Wicked Wolf there. It's just, they just never, never run out of stuff. Yes, yeah, so they drew one land in the last nine cards. It's tough. Real tough. You know, like the prison realm, we do get to go back with Cavalier of Dawn, but we saw that with them having Golgari Queens. You know, like multiple Golgar Golgari Queens, that can be tough there. We 
and get rid of it with playing the Ether Gusts. Is there some meta recursion artifact deck with Emery and Salvager Ruin and Tezzeret? No. No, there's... There is no deck with those cards. play this once upon a time card so bad never ever ever just cast once upon a time on your opponent's turn like that it's just such a waste ah, it's so frustrating people do that all the time just draw your card first know what eight cards you have in your hand you know other seven cards besides the once upon a time and then play once upon a time on, on your turn after you draw your card So I'm waiting on the Charming Prince because we have the, the Clarion. to watch kings grovel and worms welcome to the feast so plan is next turn cavalier of dawn oko the following turn time white pick cavalier of dawn back up And so with that plan, we don't need to play our other creatures yet. This is my cue to exit. of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. So I guess I'm going to flicker that first and get rid of this Nyssa. It's a very large army of 3 threes my opponent is amassing. No, maybe I should just let that resolve and then they tick up and then I Ether Gust and put the Nissa back. Gives me another like creature to kill. So 
That's what I probably should have done, actually. Hmm. Charming Prince is an interesting draw. Uh, yeah, like that's what I should have done the, the last turn. You can't you can't turn lands into golems. You, you you can only destroy not you can't destroy lands with Cavalier of Dawn. I'm not really sure why they're not attacking. No, Deckmaster is still not working. It's been eight days now. I I'm I don't want my opponent to attack. That would have been really bad for me if my opponent attacked. So I'm I'm so I'm glad to use the the gust first, and also I don't want them to untap and have more mana available if they have like a negate on the ether gust. They only had the one mana. Yeah, Zara Mag, I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, I think in a three color control deck, how many Scrylands is it is it typical to to use is, is a question. I think it does. It really depends on like your your different uh, re color requirements with everything. But um, I think it's pretty typical to to play. You know, like six. You know, anywhere from like probably like yeah, probably like around six. Give or take. That hurts. Together, Why not? We will prevail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Why not?
Oh, we're also one in one in O oh with this deck this whole time too. The record over here isn't as good. Behold, nature's true power. All right, I didn't have that updated. Oh, should keep that foundry in hand to loot away. Should not have played that foundry. Not have played that foundry. Behold, nature's true power. The knowledge the to land direct shall it. conquer you. You will not block our noble path. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, Agent of Treachery. Stealing games. Stolen this is heart. Not a good block. Agent's still probably my most hated card in the format, but this gives me great joy. <laughs> yeah, this this one this one worked out for us. That's just game two though. I think I need to reset arena. It's just been acting so slow here. I got ten minutes for a game three. 
I'm going to force end and try to reset. So I got 10 minutes for game three. You know, like the first two games basically took 20. And now we've got 10 left. Nissa ends games pretty quickly. Which cannot protect itself with the courage to apply it. I can't I can't change anything. All right, well, cool. Good talk. I was going to bring in a Clarion over a Royal Scions, I think. This is tough. I need red and white for that with that fable passage. I guess we go get red. Or sorry, I need red and blue. Sorry. I said the wrong thing. Guess we go get red. Those were not good. Should have got blue. Well then. No land drop. So Clarion, trading with Clarion is just a two for two. But we did get to, to uh, scry two as well. But then they also got a food token. So we got to scry two. They got a food. I don't like that scry to the top. I don't like that scry to the top one bit. We'll see if like just playing out this bone crusher giant works out or not. Looks like not. We need that lotus field so that we can play Cavalier Gales. This is rough. Not having any blue mana. Wish we would have fetched for island. Okay. I'm known for my excellent fight. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, come on. Questing beast. That didn't go according to plan. 
you didn't go according to plan. Yeah, but I don't, I don't love using Cavalier of Dawn there because... Cavalier of Dawn's like one of my main answers to Planeswalkers. That was a good turn for me. That's a really good turn. Ooh, I forgot we had Kenrith. Kenrith's awesome. So basically, what I'm scared of with playing Kenrith is I'm scared of Noxious Grasp. I can't protect against Noxious Grasp. Even Murderous Rider. That's what I'm scared of. So Cavalier Gales can block Questing Beast. Double Bone Crusher Giant? I guess. I've got time. Just please don't play another questing beast for one turn. Uh 
Oh, yeah, I guess I could have. I just didn't really think about Clarion on their turn with Teferi, but yes, that would have been a better play. Just didn't consider it. If they just tap out for a big crisis again, they're going to die, because I'm just going to play giant, giant, give them both haste. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. I did not find another blue source for this time twist, unfortunately. Oh dear. Nothing. All right, four minutes to spare. Almost. Almost four minutes. All right, we're 2-0. Oh. Hey, Pitch, good evening. <laughs> um, I guess because we reset during, a, during the match there, it's just black screen in me. So let's just Alt F4 again, reset. Thanks, Storm. GG's. Oh, no, this deck's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this, this, um, uh, I like this Just Guy deck here that we're playing. Kenrith is so good. But yeah, that was, that was a pretty sweet win. Uh, those first two games are so good. Yeah, I would consider adding another Kenrith to the deck. It'd probably have to be over this, like, maybe instead of playing two Cavalier of Gales, playing two Kenrith. How are we doing on white mana? We'll, we'll give it a try. We got 15 in here. Okay, well, those are two terrible cards, both double white. Not good. All right, and always had it.
Never didn't have it. Unfortunately, against the blue-white control deck, we're sitting here with a lot of sweepers. We're pretty big underdogs from here. I have one card. It's not even that great right now without the extra mana. They have a whole bunch of cards and a castle. Well, the good news, though, is we have the two time wipes down at the bottom, so we know we're not going to draw those. The bad news is now this land is a Fabled Passage. So if I want to actually get mana with the Fabled Passage, we have to shuffle those time wipes back in. I think this is a go after trying to win games two and three. This game one is pretty lost. I really need to show my opponent more of my deck. This thing is over. Okay. All right, I got to play one of these cards. No, I don't really want to. Guess it's the... I mean, it's either Prison Realm or Realm Cloak Giant. The other ones are not playable at all. So it's either play one Prison Realm or one Realm Cloak Giant. The thing is, Prison Realm isn't really going to, to do anything. Like, they have, they have a lot of ways to bounce enchantments. I don't love the enchantment against a lot of ways to bounce. Realm Cloak Giant can just be a 7-mana seven 7-7. Seven, seven. And if they have Finale of Glory and make a whole bunch of 2-2s two with the Finale of Glory, maybe we need that Sweeper for some reason. I'll try the wrong clip giant. Hmm. Kind of assume we're going to draw more lands. I could put that one back. 
<clears throat> yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, that is true. The one fable passage is a little awkward when we're scrying a whole lot, but sometimes we scry stuff to the bottom that we need later on still. I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, Warboss would be really good in this matchup. It is true. isn't a fight you can win. I've got it. They are much more relying on counter spells than I am, so turning off their counter spells is a pretty big game. I guess I shouldn't have minused because I, I minus because I thought they would be able to get rid of the, the Teferi. But maybe I shouldn't have because of Cavalier of Dawn. So yeah, so I could have, of course, could have Cavalier of Dawn there to ferry here. Okay, perfect. Well, not perfect. No, because never mind. I can't. I don't necessarily resolve stuff. Never mind, because yeah, they have counterspell available now. No, Opt's just a good card. I like Opt. Huh. Alright, no counterspell. Keeps me on the run. That didn't go according to plan. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Yeah. Yeah, Spyglass would shut down their own Teferi as well. Uh, I need to do the second main. Hmm. 
Trump blocks are just saying they're going to play like a sweeper, right? Yeah, that's that's the thing. I don't want to overcommit to time wipe. Just attack for six. Each turn. Unfortunate. Only time will tell. I can no longer stand by and watch. So if they have time wipe and pick agent of treachery back up, that's it's really annoying. Good. Don't don't repick up Agent of Treachery, please. Let's try this. Yeah, it really doesn't seem like they have time wipe if they're making that block. Gives my opponent so much time now. <laughs> Is this magic or tug of war? For Santos with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, For Santos. Thanks for that support, I appreciate that. If I if I double block their Cavalier of Dawn. Then they get back their Prison Realm or Spyglass. I can't really have that let that happen. Is there I'm sure they got, you know, lot you know, at least two, maybe more counter spells in hand. They gotta keep those shut down. My brow with thoughtfulness before action. Jeez.
Here we go. Fury will only lead you astray. I think I should bounce Agent next turn. Wouldn't it be better just to bounce the Cavalier that I already stole? Put the Cavalier back in my hand. I have reached my limit. This might be a bad idea. So basically, do I want to steal Castle Vantress or do I want to wait? Like that's that's all the the question is. Do I want to steal Castle Vantress or wait? We should tap the land. I've done the hero thing before. Um, well, this, yeah, Light Side, this is a donation deck. This is not a, a deck that I put together. But, um, yeah, I mean, Fire's Invention is really powerful. If, you know, but it, it does reward you for you know, making a pretty clunky deck. Otherwise, another line I was really considering here was maybe just like playing the borrower main phase and then Cavalier of Dawn blowing up the borrower gives me two more blockers. They would still be able to kill my Teferi, but they'd lose everything except for one creature. I played the Brazen Borrower there. As 
Um, it's like another card to play before they uh, before they'd have counter magic available. without bravery. All right, so they're at one. They play two. They could play two blue spells and tap my two creatures, and then they can kill Teferi. No, Scions on the 4-3 does not cost two life, no. Um, the 4-3 the says whenever you target with a spell, not ability. So it, it can target with abilities just fine. Okay, we're going to game three. This is going to be a tough game to win. A bunch of mass manipulations and agent treacheries and things like that. Here we go. All right, Storm, you're out. Have a good night. No, I haven't played any Pioneer. There's no Pioneer on Arena. I haven't played any Pioneer. Uh, there's, there's no chance that Grazer would be banned. Razor doesn't show up too much right now. And I don't think Gilded Goose would honestly I don't think Gilded Goose would really get banned either before before Oko. I feel like it's just gonna be Oko. Yeah, not yet. They said that that's a long-term thing that they want to try to get uh, Pioneer on Arena eventually. And that'll be cool. I'm pretty excited about the update on the 21st. Get to play, you know, get to actually have historic events and the new 20, the 20 new historic cards and playing a good amount of historic. I'm pretty excited about that. 
Uh, the announcement for the band announcements on Monday. It's on the 18th. As far as like when is it? Um, it'll probably be around. Um, it's usually around like ten a ten a.m. Eastern Eastern time. The focused and disciplined encounter no. I have just the trick for this. So, like I want to get use of this I know my responsibility temple Don't worry I got this You are a mighty warrior I concede I also want to get you know, like I want to get the temple in play but I want to get use of it like I want to play this this brazen borrower protect you all right good scries though good scries I have practiced against many foes like you keep an open mind That hurts. No, wish I, I guess I wish I would have shocked in for the brazen borrower here. That hurts. Card's not good against Narset. That's more like it. Yeah, we had a lot of a lot of gifted okay. subs earlier. Not good. I was not prepared for this. It's not good. Yeah, we may we may have a twelve hour stream when the bands go when the bands go live. Um, we're five sub goals away. And the bands should go live on the 21st. Let me synthesize the facts. That'd be my... Well, like, Narset was in play. I couldn't draw with Teferi. Yeah, because Narset was in play. Like, if I would have immediately, before Narset came into play, like, that would have been nice. But the last couple of turns, I couldn't. I'll protect Even though I wish I could have.
I will learn what nobody yet knows. Enough! Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Thanks, Baritas. Embrace your fear and charge. So the goal is to get rid of Teferi with this. That's fine. So we don't quite do it. No more games. Regular lands I wouldn't be playing. I'd be holding on to regular lands to, to you know and ditch them with royal scions and stuff, but these castles are pretty valuable. I'll be activating the castle Ardenvale here. This might be a bad idea. I'd be pretty fortunate if we get on top of this Royal Scions. It looks like probably no agent of treachery or mass manipulation if they're playing that thing. I mean, I think you just just cash it in while while you can. We like to finish each other's attack already. I don't want to risk it. Let me know if you're up for round two. Yeah, I, I think it's too risky to get greedy with the Royal Scions. <clears throat> I'm going to try to play Teferi first before Drawn from Dreams. Really don't want Drawn getting countered. I honestly don't mind trading this for trading. <clears throat> I don't mind trading that for a counter spell with me having to ferry. So, like, even if it's like a mystical dispute, like something that, you know, something that's like, oh man, I could have, I could have played Bone Crusher Giant first, then activated Car Castle of Ar Arden Vale. I honestly just want them, yeah, like, I, I want them to, to use that, honestly. That's basically a, it's trying to bait out a counter spell there. Because now they probably don't have another counter spell for this. I do need to shock to make sure we can pay for a mystical dispute.
If they had one Castle Art Veil, I'd be taking Castle Art Veil, but they have a lot more than one of those. Excellent timing. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was, I was a little busy here, so I just saw Narada, I just saw your comment. Day 1046, Game 3, Turn 47. Todd is still facing off against Blue-White Control. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So they should be taking their own Brazen Borrower. Which I'm fine with that. All right, so four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. Then the bottom of our library is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seen that um, opponent has 12 minutes left. I have nine minutes left. So, no, not really that close to timing out. Sorry, I'm late. Try this. Hmm. If I would have just shocked in my land first, I could have had two mana. I had like, or or just like, you know, have the auto tab. Make sure to keep a blue mana up, because I had Sacred Foundry in hand. Yeah, we're closing in on two hours for this league, and we're on match number three. <laughs> what? Didn't attack to fairy? I've got time. What are we doing over here? We're just not attacking to fairy now. Do they just have mass manipulation. What are we doing? Why are we attacking Teferi? Well, they like their cards. They put them both on top. Do they just have like their own agent of treachery in hand? 
Do I want to take Teferi that way? It's got to be Agent of Treachery, right? On their side. It's like the only thing that can beat me right now. No, we don't really need upkeep scries. I like having a whole lot of mana to be able to use during my turn if need be. So I did not, <clears throat> I did not tick up to fairy because I do not want it to be at three loyalty where they can steal to fairy and then minus and bounce their prison realm. I don't want them to be able to agent a treachery. A three loyalty to fairy. <laughs> I mean, this is just lethal, right? Yeah. Could do the the lot uh, cuter play of Here goes nothing. Could do the lot cuter play of, you know, like flicker the agent of treachery and everything, but they can't play instance, this is just lethal. <laughs> yeah, my tokens are different depending on which which castle makes the token. All right, GG's. Man, we've had some real, real long games. <laughs> it's the second time in a row that, like, last time we had, what, less than four minutes? This time we had, like, six, less than six minutes. I'm just going to reset Arena again. And, yeah, like, my opponent had, you know, less than ten minutes both times, too. It's... Yeah, the no take up. Because like, if they're keeping those cards on top, I, that's why I felt like they had Agent of Treachery, or at least that was like the one thing that could defeat me. <laughs> yeah, pretty loose mid-range use of mid-range. Hey, we got a new sub, Crooks Brooks. Getting in on the action. Y'all throw out your hype votes for our new sub. Thank you so much there, Brooks. Sub number 37. All right, so two hours into the league. We've finished three matches. 
And we're on to match number four. This could be a four-hour league. If we go, you know, five and one at the same pace. This could be a four-hour league. All right, so I need to opt here to look for land drops. That's not the land drop I want right now. It's technically it's a land drop. Yeah, exactly. Like them them not attacking to ferry that other turn, that was pretty suspicious. There's no difference between Evolving Wilds and Fabled Passage for your first three land drops, but once you have four lands um, in play, then uh, then Fabled Passage comes into play untapped, like the land does. In Evolving Wilds, it doesn't. My hand was pretty good. It's not over though. They got castle. They can they can rebuild. I can no longer stand by. No, I am not making this up as I go. I will steady your mind, Rowan. My answers lie in the cold. Sanit Here goes nothing. Okay. I will learn what nobody yet knows. I really should have seen that coming. There is no virtue without bravery. So I can't bone crusher giant this Midnight Reaper if need be. Yes, yeah, so this this is gutter bones when you don't have the wild cards. That makes sense. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So they all have trampled now because of Kenrith. All right, so that match was a little faster. Well, it wasn't the match. That game. That game was a little faster. Um, all right, play things that say kill creatures. 
check. Take out. I don't know. What are we taking out? Yeah, it gives your opponent's creatures trample and haste too. I know I I had like a, a creature with an activated ability that they used Kenrith and then I got to use my activated ability. Like it I think like a Paradise Druid or something like that. Like it gave like a mana creature, it gave me like an extra mana that I needed to, you know, like use a removal spell. One time. And I was like, ooh, that's cool. Um, don't know what to do about the last two here. Uh, I really don't know what to do about the last two. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll trim a couple of Charming Princes with us playing all these Clarions and stuff. Which is tough for me to do. Y'all know how much I really like Charming Prince as a card. Tough one to take out. It's like my best card, but we don't have lands. Probably casting Drawn from Dreams this next turn. This is pretty ironic. All the Midnight Reapers, that's such a cool card. Yet I'm just gonna exile all of them. Being a big jerk. Oh no, the witch's oven, it's too late now. All the Midnight Reapers got exiled first. Yeah. Which is Golem. And then of course we can just bounce the Golem with Teferi next turn.
You can give me the other two colors of mana for Kenrith. I'm known for my excellent. That's more like it. Okay, we're four now. And we are moving on to the final boss. That was a lot faster of a match. And here we go. Final boss means we need to play our final boss playlist. Yeah, finally a quick round. I prefer to be on the play, but with having the double temple, but oh well. This is your favorite playlist? Yeah, let's go. Sure. Just not Midnight Reaper. Ninja! Iduro Ninja. With the sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. Our 38th sub of the day. Two away from our next sub goal. Hey, Ninja, thank you. Hmm. So, do I want to do anything? Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, it's still... Even it's a prime sub, it's still a sub. Yeah. Doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be bouncing Murderous Rider. A bad idea. Yeah, I guess that's true. I could have stomped my tutu and fizzled their rider. Now what? I guess I could have done that. I think I kind of want that, actually. I 
They want to try to take this castle. Keep them from drawing a whole lot of cards. So we'll just draw this, see if we draw a land drop right after it. Hmm, wasn't the land drop. Alright, so yeah, they're just figuring their Smitten Sword Master to get rid of my Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, of course, I want to be attacking them for three. I want to pressure their life total. Which makes their, to make their castle worse. Oh no, they have a second castle? That was like my whole plan. Ugh, second castle? I don't like them having this murderous ride of the life like with life link and stuff. It's kind of a waste of a time wipe, but you know, hopefully I get to Agent Treachery one castle, play like Teferi, bounce my Agent Treachery, take the other castle. Over time. Thank me later. Here we go. Down to nine. I said I'm probably not going to be getting these castles now. I've got time. Hmm. I 
If they want to activate castle, it's, it's going to cost them four life here. Where's this song from? Uh, this is the Chrono Trigger theme. I, mean, I gotta be worried about Smitten Swordmaster. This isn't great for me right now. Try this. It's going to be playing Brazen Borrower to bounce, or sorry, to block Order of Midnight. Playing that main phase. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's my stream. Looks like looks like they got this. I'm sure I could have navigated that that better, you know, if I would have gone back through and and look at that again. I'm sure I didn't. 
navigate that perfectly. I mean, definitely, like, the, the turn that I just attacked and then wasted a time wipe. That turn hurts. Shouldn't have done that. It's Order of Midnight's... are, like, the scariest thing they have. Hmm. Yeah, I stole the, the tapped creature because that tapped creature, um, you know, something that I was just, like, not going to be able to deal with. But obviously, with, especially with, like, drawing the Charming Prince, yeah, if I would have stolen the Life Linker, I would have been in a whole lot better shape. Because uh, then, yeah, I would have had Charming Prince to flicker the Agent of Treachery and everything, too. Um, but I didn't. And, yeah, like the, like the very next turn... I wish I would have. I kind of I don't really want to cut all these charming princes. I kind of want to play this Agent of Treachery, though. All right, here we go. These were just like, if these were two steam vents, I would not be keeping this. If there are two steam vents, but since they're a temple of epiphanies and I can, you know, dig pretty quickly to look for white mana, I'm going to keep it. You know, Clarion, of course, is a good, a solid card. Uh, just can't, just can't keep Lotus Field. Huh. All right. So they're gonna ex. I mean, that's kind of fine. Like they have to get rid of another card. This is hardly my worst defeat. Are going to be greedy. I think, like, all, we do need to draw one more white source, but we don't have to draw it immediately. And I, th I think it's going to be pretty easy for us just to draw another white source. So, being greedy here. Um, like we do need another white source, but yeah, we don't we don't need it right away. It's not like I need to cast time wipe the next turn. You know, it's not like it's not like if, you know like these time wipes don't have to be cast right now.
This is not a great use of Devout Decree, but I want to scry. Good scry. Yeah, the opponent's stuck on lands. Okay. I mean, I think I should play one Agent of Treachery. It's just so powerful. I'll cut a Royal Scions and play one. So we'll see if I draw Agent of Treachery, if it's going to be worse than the, the Royal Scions. Sure. Land drops are cool. I wish I would have led with Temple of Epiphany so I could have played another temple here before this opt. Cold Cut with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Cold Cut. Welcome to the channel. Sub number 39 on the day. Gaspy! Same with that tier 3 sub. Number 40. Cold Cut says, been enjoying your content for a while. Figured I should finally subscribe. Well, thank you so much, Cold Cut. And glad you're enjoying the content and everything, and to many more. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> 40 hype. So that's that's going to be um, that's sub goal number 16 out of 20. So we're four sub goals Any away for the tell. next 12 hour stream. So that may be like. Um, You know, we may be doing that whenever, like, the 21st, whenever we have, like, the new update with Historic and everything and the, the bands come into effect and all that kind of stuff. So down to four cards. We're down to two. We're up to two. I guess having two cards is, like, the most cards we've had. Good scry. Had a couple of good scries here recently. Get those lands down there. Yeah, 41 days. Huge. Yeah, we had um, 20 gifted subs earlier. 
There is a a gifted subtrain started by Crazy Pyro, and then Blind Frisky Biscuits. Oh no, 25, 25 gifted subs earlier. Because yeah, Crazy Pyro did 10, and then Blind Frisky Biscuits and Drug Wizard all did five. Trust me, I have a plan. I'll protect you. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know exactly what the deck would look like for best of one form. You'd probably want a third Clarion. Um, but honestly, like this, this could probably do just, just fine in best of one. You know, it's pretty proactive. Um, that's, that's definitely a good thing to have for best of one is, is to be proactive. So it kind of looks like my opponent has an order of midnight. Yeah, this was a, a deck from Rex. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I blocked there. Uh, Long. Well, definitely wanted to block there and keep Teferi alive, but you don't always get what you want. Yep, yeah, I use the full I like the full wins or not as far as tie knots go. I will steady your mind, Rowan. And I will inspire your hmm. What is my strategy here? <laughs> yeah, I don't always get what you want, but if you try real hard you get get what you need. So yeah, they got Order of Midnight. Good card. All right, not grabbing the Midnight Reaper because they know about my Prison Realm here, and well, the Agent of Treachery as well. Hmm. My hand's pretty loaded. I don't really want to discard any of these, so doing the whole draw plus discard isn't really a factor. Definitely consider just going Agent of Treachery, Steal a Forest, or sorry, st sorry, Steal a Swamp, uh, Time Twist, Steal another Swamp. Uh, definitely consider that. All right, five and zero. Oh. Five and O. Oh. Let's get that victory. Get that victory music here. Twenty one hundred gold, forty gems. This deck honestly played really well. It was real powerful. Um, I never really felt like, man, I wish I had fires of invention. 
I'm pretty glad that we didn't have Fires of Invention. Instead, we just had um, some some really uh, good quality cards. The Charming Princes were really cool. It's just a really well put together deck here. By <clears throat> by the Rex. Um, yeah, this was a this was a really nice donation deck. As far as Jeskai goes, this is this is probably my favorite Jeskai deck that we've played. Just a lot of cool things going on. Kenrith was awesome. Agent of Treachery was awesome, especially with the flicker effects. Teferi's Time Twist was really good. That card was really good. As everything worked, everything, everything, you know, just piles of good cards. Like it, everything worked very well. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. 5-0. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, you know what to do. Hit that. Uh, there's Rex. There you go. Yeah, we got 5-0. Your deck was awesome. It was a lot of fun to play. I know. So, yeah, you're telling me you put it together because uh, you just wanted something to play at F&M. And, um, and, you know, you kind of put together cards that you enjoyed. Um, but, yeah, it worked. It worked really, really well. And, <clears throat> and we had a lot of, like, close games where we were able to outgrind opponents and everything. Um, and, yeah, it worked, worked very well. All right, but anyway, yeah, so for those of you on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button and leave some comments. If, you, if you're trying this deck out for yourself also, let me know how it's going over there. Um, yeah, we played against some Oko decks, um, at least one, maybe two. I know we played, I know, one, I think we played against two Oko decks. Um, Verdict on Charming Prince, I really liked it. It was awesome. Like, you know, you get to scry early game, which is good uh, to help, you know, just help hit, make sure you hit your land drops. And then also, or if you have enough lands, find spells. Um, but then, yeah, uh, flickering some of these cards, you know, like flickering Cavalier of Dawn, Agent of Treachery, um, Cavalier of Gales, you know, getting to, to flicker those was really cool. Um, and, you know, could pressure Planeswalkers for us early with just being the two mana card. It was good. I liked it. Anyway, there we go. Chess Guy Midrange. Uh, again, yeah, leave those comments, hit the like button. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.